okay. I'm on my way to bed, but I had to make a comment. First of all, whomever told him about the affair, whichever one of his friends told that he was helping cheating or he was a cheater, you need to let him know. First of all, you put me in a bad situation. True friends can sometimes be flawed, but true friends don't want to include you in your mess. He needs to evaluate first. He's got some messy people. He needs to also evaluate your values. And he needs to get real with himself. You know, the first thing we, we all know is you can judge yourself by the people you have around you. You know, who do you whose cup do you drink from? And the people you're around feed you emotionally, spiritually, intellectually. In some point in time, these people have shown where their character was short, these gentlemen. And it was funny and it's cool. I know amongst men there's an honor thing. But since he's now in a dilemma, he's showing that he's growing, that the stuff is not funny, it's not cool, and how dangerous it is physically, health-wise. It's devastating, this type of treachery, especially when these people are close-knit. He needs to know that he's going to have to make a change in his relationships. They haven't put it out there. They've pushed him to make a change. So he has to start with the two cheaters. He has to let them know, one, you put me in a bad position. I don't appreciate making me a part of a lie, making me a part of something that's vicious. And he's got to let them know the new boundaries in his friendship with them. As far as telling the woman, we all know in the real world, make-believe world, you tell her. In the real world, you need to tell these two guys. I think shaming them and telling them where he stands from someone they probably respect, hopefully still, or his opinion is valuable in their book, it might have an impact. But let them know. He needs to let them know that he will not participate in a lie. He will not participate in the charade. They can't all come over and kick it. They can't all go out. He needs to make a, uh, a stand. He needs to draw a line in the sand and say, this is for what I stand for. Lying, betrayal, I'm not down for that. And you're putting me in it, it's not cool. I won't be a part of hurting her or hurting anyone else. So I think that's where you first, I think is where his, um, his responsibility lies. It's establishing that. That's what you can do when you're a part of something, you're complicit. And when you make a stand and excuse yourself from something wicked, then you can reclaim your honor. And then in that, I think it'll force the hand of the, uh, the man that's cheating, hopefully, to tell the young lady. You know, we all know that other alternative is to bust them all out, have them all over and serve chips and dip and put it out there. But that's movie style. I don't think that's going to be effective. So God be with all of them. Because to cheat and to lie, you're hurt. Your self-respect is low. Your self-esteem is broken. Because liars cannot possibly feel great about themselves or something fractured in them. But this person is showing that they think better of themselves. So I think in the end, he can't possibly be deep friends or inner circle friends with people who've pushed him into this position. That's my opinion. Keep it up, Katia. I think you're helping people one video at a time. Okay, bye-bye.